Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Panerai Luminor 1950 GMT 8 Days PAM 289. You can see this handsome 18 karat pink gold GMT with 8 day power reserve and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this pink gold 8 day Luminor with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop and naturally complete pricing details for this Panerai PAM 289. The watch on my wrist is a rich iteration of the Luminor 1950 case. Let's be clear, Luminor 1950 refers to a specific case profile, not a case size. And here you can see what that means. Sensuous compound curves combined with strong character lines. It's a look first introduced in 2002 in the modern era on the PAM 127 1950, here doing business on a watch that splits the difference between a traditional Panerai sports watch and what one might even call a semi-dress reference from Panerai. Now it's 44 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the iconic crescent-shaped crown guard. That extends it further. In terms of thickness, it is thick, 17.6 millimeters, but that generously sloped crystal, which is spectacularly domed, as well as a conical bezel and a stepped case flank, allow it to fairly easily slide underneath the dress cuff. 53.8 millimeters from lug to lug is the span across the wrist, but because the watch is most mostly a cushion case, and the lugs are quite spare, stubby, and sharpward, sharply downward turned. Uh, this is a timepiece that fits easily on a small wrist. My wrist is 16 centimeters. I would say down to 15 centimeters in circumference. You're going to wear this one with no second thoughts about proportion. I would also say that the watch with its heft is impressive. You know you're wearing a special timepiece. Now, steel Panerai tend to combine the quantity of material with the size of case to give you a hefty wrist impression, but for those who really want to be reminded by the precious metal pull that they're wearing a luxury timepiece, the PAM 289 will deliver on that count. Now the lugs are retained to the straps using screws, so you can see Panerai's screw fixed lugs, not, not spring bars and not the later quick release system here. The lugs are simplified because of their precious metal composition. So easy release of the strap using your jeweler's tools. But you may not want to swap out this beautiful light brown rectangular scale alligator leather strap. It's substantial in profile with sheer cut flanks as well as a light contrasting stitch and an upscale satin finish Panerai pink gold pin buckle for quick adjustability. The case features differential finish with the case back and the bezel in contrast to the satin finish of the hoods of the case, the lugs and the case band itself all satin finished. It seems appropriate on a watch this large to have a dominant satin finish because frankly all in high polish it would be a little bit overwhelming and while Panerai has expanded beyond its early tool watch aegis, nevertheless full polished gold is not something that the PAM people do too often here at Judiciously Chosen. Nice contrast. The watch features a spectacular domed sapphire that channels the spirit of vintage thermoplastic or plexiglass as seen on vintage Panerai references and the incredible amount of camber on the sapphire does create that charming vintage style distortion while still being a scratch resistant to sapphire. Now you can see the dial itself features a gentle tobacco coloration. It is a dark brown and it is a sandwich pro Profile, meaning a stencil on top of a fully loomed disc. So all of the indices, the numerals, they have depth to them. They glow brightly at night, yes, but there's also a 3D effect because of the light reflecting off the walls of the stenciled channels. The watch is an eight day power reserve and you can see the dog tooth style power reserve at six o'clock tracing the eight days of reserve manually wound. There is a Mono counter at 9 o'clock featuring constant seconds as well as the AM-PM distinction for the second time zone and of course balanced by a monotone date disc at 3 o'clock. Now the way you can set this watch Take a look at the seconds hand and watch as I withdraw and hack the movement. It features a zero reset system to allow instant centering of the seconds hand at the index at 60, jump to the next nearest minute against a reference time such as an online atomic clock, and then push the crown back in and resume the beat of the balance once your reference time catches up. Now you've synchronized your watch. Now in the intermediate position, let me put it there, you see how you have this time zone function 
the better to jump the date forward or backward along with the individual hour as you traverse the time zones of the world while traveling. Now, it's important to recognize that this does not stop the balance. The second hand continues to beat away, so you can set your travel time without affecting the chronometric performance of your timepiece. Crown back in, lock it. You can see it's still a Panerai Luminor, the icon, the modern favorite of the Panoristi, the shape that won innumerable hearts around the world in the 90s. This is a patented system from the 1950s, however, that replaces the screw-down crown architecture previously used in Panerai's Rolex-built cases during the 30s and the 40s. The locking lever instantly unlocking the crown, instantly locking the crown. The transition easy to accomplish with wet, sweaty, or gloved hands. As soon as it's unlocked, you can wind the watch, you can set the watch, it's that simple. And with all aspect protection, it also gives a lot more shielding to the crown and the stem tube assembly than a conventional shouldered crown guard. Turn it over. Now you can see the Panerai Manufacture Caliber 2002-1. Three main spring barrels, eight-day power reserve, executed entirely in-house with the locking lever crown protected down to 100 meters. So throw this on a textile or a rubber strap and it is a true sports watch. True to its heritage, it also features a full balance bridge anchored on both sides with a free sprung index, the better to resist shock, bump, and concussive timing deviations. Three main spring barrels, eight days of power reserve, again, entirely in-house with a zero reset system for seconds and a second time zone. It's a sophisticated, one might even say over-engineered caliber for a beautiful rendition of Panerai's Luminor 1950. Truly a luxury watch in every sense. It has a little bit of dress watch DNA alongside its robust sports watch heritage. You can see and you can purchase this versatile and visible Panerai PAM 289 on our website.